Hello beautiful people around the web, this is Snickers HD and I'm the host for today's video. Today's video will be about the Pokemon Pokedex entries and it will start not quite at the beginning but with Squirtle because I was interested in the kind of first starters and just starting off with that, Squirtle is a water type Pokemon and I try to take a um, scientific perspective and try to look at these Pokedex entries as if they were truth. If there are two Pokedex entries that kind of seem to contradict one another, that just cannot happen because they are set as truth. Even though they might seem to conflict with one another, it is not. I just see how th this works together. But what I have seen so far, they just fit perfectly into one another and that's where I start. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's have fun. This adorable water turtle's shell is soft when born but gets resilient as it grows. According to the Emerald Pokedex entry, Squirtle's shell isn't there for protection only, but also for efficiency when swimming in water. It is said to be of a rounded shape. In addition to its shape, its shell has a special texture and groove to it to provide maximum resistance in water. Now let's have a look at this shard. We can see five different shapes and we can see the water pressure as the first number and the resistance in water as the second number. The next step will be to figure out which shape fits best for Squirtle. The third or the fourth image from above would be the most fitting but I cannot say that for sure. Looking at Squirtle in the anime as well as in many different fan arts, its body shape alters from a football shape to an airplane wing shape. Let's have a look at this picture right here. Squirtle's shell shape is obviously having a rather flat side on its bottom where his belly is and as a curved shape where his back is. This strongly reminds me of the bearing surface of an airplane wing, which means that Squirtle actually has an updrift when swimming, giving him a high resistance in water because he has to alter his swimming path downwards, which creates water resistance and takes more muscle power. But there's more. It is said that its shell's groove and surface reduces water resistance. So we can not talk about the water pressure, but the water resistance only. If we look into our animal world of sea creatures, the first thing that comes into my mind are sharks with their rough skin. Shark skin is rough and as a matter of fact, the water resistance is reduced. Only problem here is that there is no statement that squirrel's shell texture is rough. It is soft when it is just born and hardens as it grows. The thing now is, that its shell has no skin, which could support the rough skin just like a shark skin does. I also highly doubt that it would be probable that Squirtle would have such a rough skin texture to his shell because its arms and legs and its head would constantly scratch on the surface of his shell, hurting Squirtle constantly. In addition to that, it is said that it can withdraw quickly into his shell, making a rough skin as a texture to his shell more fatal, causing serious scratches and even burns if withdrawn quickly enough. To break down the facts, Squirtle actually does have a shape that is reducing the resistance and water, but it might have trouble swimming a straight path due to its rather flat shape on its belly. This can be discussed more, but it's not that clear. A rough skin can be occluded due to the hazard of hurting itself when withdrawing into its shell. Though it might be that the grooves of his shell actually do reduce resistance in water when swimming. Moving on to a completely new part that is where it gets crazy. Squirtle hunts. It is no vegetarian, let me quote here. Shoots water at prey while in water. From Pokemon Y. So Squirtle isn't that funny and lovely cute water bubble spitting turtle that he presents him to be. He's a vicious and smart hunter looking for prey to hunt down. But this all isn't too far-fetched. Look at the bandit archerfish. This fish actually hunts insects and spiders as it swims underwater just like Squirtle does and looking in a diagonal way at its prey to even out the optical difference of the water. Then it stocks up some water in its mouth and quite literally spits at its prey causing them to lose grip and slip right into the fish's mouth waiting underwater. This might sound considerably harmless if there wasn't this entry of the Super Smash Bros. trophy. When it conceals its neck, it also shoots a powerful stream of water from its mouth. 
What this means is basically that Squirtle is able to build up a lot of water pressure inside of his body and then release it by using a mechanical trick where he snaps his head back to his neck. I have seen such a thing before. That is where it really gets crazy. There's a shrimp that is called Pistol Shrimp. It is actually a shrimp with a weird way of hunting and one change to its body. Instead of two large claws or whatever every other shrimp uses to hunt, it has one claw that opens wide and stores up a lot of energy in its muscles. The moment of releasing the build up pressure is so intense that the temperature of his claws pushing away the air in the water reaches over 5000 Kelvin for a split of a second or the equivalent of the temperature of the surface of the sun, causing the air in the water to be squashed together and forming a bubble that implodes immediately. This small bubble is under a vacuum and is called cavitation bubble. With a speed of over 100 km per hour, the shockwave of the imploding cavitation bubble travels to its prey, causing a temporal stun or even death. With such an explosive or implosive power, the pistol shrimp is even able to burst an aquarium. The noise of its implosion can even be picked up by a submarine water radar. Just one side note, you might ask, what does that have to do with Squirtle? Because Squirtle does not use water pressure or whatever. Uh, he, he does use water pressure, but he, he's not using the implosion, implosion shockwave. What I try to come across is basically that storing up pressure is possible in the animal world. And releasing this form of pressure or this form of force can be de devastating. Now going back to a lovely Squirtle. Do you still think this animalistic hunter is so cute and adorable after all. It might as well easily cut your head off, but measures for the force and the pressure of its stream of water is not stated. But I want to leave you with this impression that it might as well be possible that this little creature has more in this armory than anticipated. So that is the first Pokedex entry I did. It's for Squirtle. It's number 7 in the Pokedex, in the National Pokedex. And Let's see what my next step will be. I just try to figure out some interesting stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, why did you leave a comment, a like, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel for more stuff like that and Battlefield 4, which is completely out of the order, but who cares? I love doing that. It was a lot of fun doing these res researches. Thank you guys again for watching, and we see us next time. As always, people, keep it up. Hello beautiful people around the web, this is NixHD, I'm your host for today's video and the topic is getting comfortable and succeeding in the game.